Hello everyone, welcome back to episode of Stellaris. We've got uh, Gothra Prime. Colony, established. Colony has been established. Let's go back out here for a minute. And we have a new colony. Fresh off the boat. So, let me down here and we'll take a look at this this brand new beautiful water world going on here and uh, I don't think I can afford a governor yet well maybe let's see let's see about getting a governor installed yeah we can we can do one it's gonna tap us out but we're still in the in the black for influence all right so what do we have here adaptable and intellectual engineering. Ooh. 51 years old. <clears throat> Alright. We have the maximum amount of leaders we can have. Well, you're going to just have to go without a governor for a while until we can do some upgrades. So, sorry about that. Uh, what's the surface look like? Alright, we can start clearing out some of these these areas right here, especially the ones that have resources. Let's clear that one and we'll clear this one. <clears throat> hmm. No governor. I just want to recruit one one defense army. And I I don't know if we can uh, what kind of defense do I want? We'll stick with the projectile. And let's build a spaceport. Get that going. And then we'll get a little defensive fleet. A tiny, tiny little defensive fleet in this area. Where's my construction ship? Uh, where's the nearest one? I want to get some stuff going here. There you are. The Redransel 2. We're going to pull you in here and get some mining going. And that is the start of that. <clears throat> Got a nice little triangle shape going on here. Still tiny, but I'm going to see how far we can take this. Okay, got that uh, defensive platoon installed. So, what would I need to increase recruitment? I have no idea. So if I go here... Okay, so leader capacity determines the maximum... This value can be affected by government types and technology. So, government type... All right, well, we have Xenophile and Materialist. Okay, so it looks like technology is what we'll have to keep an eye out uh, to increase our leader, our leader maximum. So let's see, we've got three months remaining on uh, the wild, dangerous wildlife tile blocker. That's good. So speed this process up just a little bit, and then um, yeah, this one. I've got my edict focused on this one right here. Oh boy, who died? All right, pause. <clears throat> Director Wadegs has died at the age of seventy-four. Dang it! Uh, the negotiation for appointing a new director are underway. So, if I have anyone in mind, now's the time. <laughs> yeah, no. Obstain. I couldn't afford it anyway. Man. Alright. No leader. Director Kendag. Incoming transmission. Wow, the Just Concord just won't leave me alone. Research complete. OK. 
Okay. You know, I'd, sometimes I try to keep track of every little thing in the game, and that just drives me crazy. So instead of trying to do that, which this isn't even a, that big of a deal, but these games sometimes overwhelm me a little bit. I just, uh, just never quite get used to them. I love playing them, though. Uh, I'm just going to focus on a couple of things at a time, and that way I won't, uh, my head won't explode. And I know this is, I know you guys, this is, is nothing. But uh, I'm going to upgrade the spaceport at my homeworld to level 4. And that should allow me to build some, I don't know what, uh, I think, cruisers? Larger ships. Okay, so got that. Let's slow this down just a little bit. Terraforming. Ah, ooh, uh, Knorr 3. Knorr 3 has been terraformed into an ocean world. And we've got dangerous loud wildlife removal is done. Let's uh, deal with the the research here. So that's going to open quite a bit on some of these worlds. Tomb world habitability. Unlocks fleet academy and the grand fleet. Oh, well, look at that. It costs two influence each month just to maintain that new tech. <clears throat> that is not worth it right now. Okay, Biolab 1 for additional society research. Doctrine, fleet support. So this is going to be better for our fleet. Upkeep minus 10. Repair speed plus 25. Repair cost minus 25. And upkeep minus 5. Or I can uh, just get a Biolab going. <clears throat> Let's save some money here. Let's do this one. And why is that now in the negative? Oh, hmm. I... Research grant plus 30. So I can remove engineering and give the edict to physics. I'm going to do that. All right, how are we looking now? Whoa, barely above, barely above. That's a uh, cruiser in space. <clears throat> that, all right, I'm going to leave that there just for now. I might I come back and deal with that here. But terraforming, we now have a nice ocean world. What's the surface look like? Beautiful, look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, I need a, uh, a colony ship. I need a colony ship. Let's see, who can build me a fast one? <laughs> one really fast. Uh, minus eight. <clears throat> Xenophile, militarists, quick learners. Really? Fanatic Xenophile. Let's, let's, let's do this one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, Stop it. Okay, so we have a colony ship. And we are going to settle that world as soon as we possibly can. And we're uh, in a trade deal for Teldar crystals. And we've uh, traded uh, one terraforming gas with the Teldar, Teldar crystal. So that is our uh, contacts. And I can't remember which... I can't remember which uh, race we were doing that with. What's it say? Uh, <clears throat> well, we're getting these crystals from one of the races. It's just a just a little bit ago. How come I can't remember that? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but <clears throat> we got that going. Uh, all right, let's back out a little bit. So Kanor 3 is ready. It's ripe and ready, and that's going to give us a little bit more influence in that area, hopefully. But that's got to start going up because it does cost in order to even colonize a planet.
Okay, Construction those are complete. done. Drones assembled. Nope. <clears throat> All right, well, I still can't. Destroyer assembly yards. Well, what does that, that's. Okay, so I've got the Corvette assembly, destroyer assembly. This gives a bonus for, bonus for build cost and uh, speed. All right, I'll leave that alone for now. Still maxed out on leaders, I think. Construction complete. Mining station's done. <clears throat> so we're gonna benefit from that. Construction complete. And we now have a colony ship. So I'm gonna take that, that colony ship. I'm Paying maintenance on it right now. I'm at a hundred influence. It's gonna cost, I think, what, two two eighty something. Let's see. Is colonizable? Alright, so where is it? Knorr three. So if I take that. Pause for a second, I saw a message here. Uh expansion. Oh wait a minute. <clears throat> expansion cost is thirty-five. Well, let's, uh, let's, hang on. So, where's my colony ship? All right. Go down in here. If I right click. Oh, since it, maybe it's because it was so close to my home world. I can pay for it right now. Let's colonize it. And I want to be right in the middle. Or I want to be in an area that's going to affect everything around me. Let's do it right here. Knorr Prime. We're ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> that, at least one of our planetary buildings. Uh-oh. Where's it at? We need a pop there. Maybe I can... Hmm. Let's... Let's just pull you over for now. Hydroponics. Mining network. I can upgrade uh, my miner here. This is our home world, by the way. So we're producing a lot of lots of food. Lots of food. So that's yeah. We'll leave you be for now. <clears throat> Crackdown. Uh-oh. Well, it cannot be denied that the intoxicating, intoxicating effects of Gother Prime's atmosphere are enjoyable and even helpful in some cases. There is pressure from the more conservative parts, of course, of the Star U to crack down on the possibly addictive gases. What? What? Leave it as it is. I want to see what happens. Uh... Clear tile here. Let's just look at these. Hey, look at that. See, now I can... Oh, all right. See that? Influence our uh, influence uh, border area just kind Incoming of increased a little bit. Excellent. we got some starvation here. Which one? All right, let's clear this tile. <clears throat> and starvation. Gothra? What? Stop. Somebody else died. One of our scientists. Okay. One thing at a time. So we've got some starvation on Gothra. We have uh, minus three food. Holy crap. Alright, we're going to clear that. And...
Uh, no, not yet. Let's build one. Okay, we're upgrading our admin, and we've re we're removing this, right? And uh, let's build a hydroponics farm right there. And we'll move one of our pops. Up. Let me do that right there. Okay. All right, so that's what we can do there for now. And... All right, we've got a dead leader. We've got no research going on, so we do need to recruit someone here to do that. All right, Voidcraft, Statecraft, Research Speed plus 10%. You're hired. Okay, so research is back up and going. Kenor Prime is being colonized as we speak. <clears throat> We've expanded our influence just a little bit there. That is good. That is good. It's kind of funny you got to deal with all this internal stuff <clears throat> while all of the external things are happening at the same time. So if you want to keep track of it, you can, but sometimes it's best just to get... Uh, basic news updates. Alright, so we have that anomaly. I can't remember what failure, 55%. Yep. Finally. Alright, what else can we do? This one is a tiny little world if I remember right. I don't know if it'd be worth it to. Well, it... Oh, a Federation invitation. Okay, another... Uh, another faction just joined the Just Cause. <clears throat> it's amazing. Okay. So, I wonder if it's different costs. So this is in my direct territory of our home system. So if I take this, what's it going to cost to terraform this? Oh, the... What? Well, research it. Unemployment, okay. <clears throat> Who's unemployed? We'll have none of that here. Killing me. Uh, all right, just for now, let's put you here. <clears throat> put you here. Everybody's working. Okay. Lorindra and Oscox rivals. That's nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. Kenora's almost done. What's going on here? Oh, I'm trying to get my food situation taken care of here. Uh. Let's get you cleared and clear you also. Yes, I know. Colony established. All right, we have a we have a colony on Kenor Prime. Uh oh, too many colonized. What? Oh no! Monthly influence minus ten, energy credits minus ten. Consider assigning some colonized systems to sectors to avoid a to avoid penalties to influence uh... okay so if I do this will that create a sector? no that's just alright I haven't done this before so if I go let's see Gothra and who are you? Serban? sectors. I've read about that, but it's probably so easy it's embarrassing. Alright, let's get some research here. 
Okay, so we have uh, AI controlled colony ships. What does that do? By giving control of the colony ship to an ar artificial intelligence, the crew and colonists can be suspended in a deep sleep. Self aware logic? That's kind of scary. Uh oh. Cure homeworld. Oh, okay. So now I can terraform updated. that. Improved deflectors. Hyperlane mapping. Hyperlane. Although we do not travel through hyperspace mapping, the galaxy's extensive hyperlane network gives us a clear advantage against those who do. Ooh, let's do that. Okay, this is at 1%. If I take this edict off... Come on! If I take this edict off of here, is it going to drop me to the negative again? So physics to engineering... Probably will. No. All right, we're evenly balanced. I'll leave it like that. That's good. That's what I wanted. Um, hmm. Sector limit. So I'm going to create a new sector. So if I do Serban and Gothra, can can they be part of the same sector? Oh, stop it. Where are we at? Planets and sectors. Okay. All right, so we've got create a sector. So by creating a new sector allows us to designate a planet as sector capital and add systems under its automatic control. So if I don't have to worry about those two, it'll bring me back under so I won't suffer that penalty. So if I click on this, sector management. Okay, so I see some plus signs here. So uh, create new sector, form a new sector within our empire with Serban Prime as its capital. So we'll do that. And so am I going to have to do these both as their own sectors? Is that what I'm thinking? Maybe because they're too far away. Uh, let's see. Transfer to sector. System is not a neighbor. Okay, so I can't do that, but I can create, I can do a sector right here also. So you are a sector. All right. Uh, close, return to regular map mode. Okay, right, so I think what happens if I do here? Where's my, let me sit, I'm going to try something here. Um, so I'm going to create a sector. So cannot be added. Oh, the Empire Capital cannot be added to a sector. Okay. All right. Planets. Hmm. You're learning something new every day. All right. Get pauses for a second. It's time to take a break. Thanks for joining me for Stellaris. Hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, I'm stumbling and fumbling my way through this, but it's a lot of fun. And hey, look, we're back to uh, no no uh, no negatives for this. All right, because we created a sector down here all by itself. All right, we'll catch you guys next time.